Let's see what Sandra's doing. I'm so. working in the dining room with all these bottles. More bottles, huh? Yes, and these, these are the bottles that I don't soak because they have a different type of label. Uh, these are the yellowtail wine bottles. Yellowtails? Uh-huh. And mostly, uh, you and I drink uh, yellowtail Merlot. And that's the orange label. Uh, it's it's a, um, a wine from Australia. And, and, and these are the ones I have yet to do. We also have, uh, let's see, the, or the orange label is the Merlot. The yellow is the Shiraz. Uh, the blue is a Cabernet Merlot. Uh, then there's a purple, which is a Shiraz Cabernet. Um, they're very, they're very pretty. Okay, um, Shiraz, Shiraz. Yes. Uh, Whatever will be, will be. All right. <laughs> the future's not ours to see. Okay, Shiraz, Shiraz. <laughs> That's very clever. Thank you for the serenade. Anyway, um, these are the ones I don't soak these because soaking these in water, uh, I tried doing that with these and it doesn't help. The label gets ruined? Uh, well, it doesn't. It just doesn't come off. Oh. You know, it just doesn't, it doesn't help it come off. So these have to be removed um, using a dry method because these labels are, they're kind of like bumper stickers. They, the label itself is not paper uh, or cardstock. It's a kind of uh, plastic? Yeah, kind of plastic or latex or something rubbery. And so, um, I, in a way, it's nice that, you know, I don't have to run water and let them soak for an hour or two. But the drawback is that I have to do this very slowly. And it starts, especially when, when you start, it's very slow going in the beginning. Mm -hmm. but, and so what I do, the most difficult part, and... All of these, uh, this particular brand has three labels. It has a single back label and a double front label. Mm -hmm. And the most, the most difficult part, the most difficult one to remove is the back label. So I always, uh -huh. I always start with the back label. The um, back label is this thing, which is yes, yellow tail. Yes. Okay. Warning. This is bad stuff. This is really, really, really bad stuff if you're pregnant uh, or well, nursing. Well, unfortunately <laughs> for us, neither of us have ever been pregnant or nursing, so yeah. we can drink all we want. I'll show you what I'm... Basically, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to stick it to a piece of paper. Here's a few that I've done already. Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's, that's that one. Yellow tail. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. What, this is a Merlot. This mm -hmm. is a Shiraz. This mm -hmm. is a Pine and Wire. Yeah. And actually, and that's another Malo. What I like about this particular type of label, especially uh, up at the name, is when you remove it, um, it crinkles up. Crinkle. And then when you flatten it back out, those crinkles give it a, a kind of iridescence, which I like. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I like that. But uh, you'll also see that they're uh, the back labels. Um, are, are difficult to remove. Oops, I need to put that back. See, and they, they tend, the back labels tend to tear, and so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put that back together when I place this. You have to glue it. <laughs> yep, I have to use some glue. And you know, I, I got a couple of tears here and a, and a bunch of wrinkles, but on the other hand, that shows, that shows the work that I've put into it. It shows that they've been worked, and that's part of what I want to achieve. I want to show that the labels have been worked and removed and put onto something else. So, mm -hmm. so anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gather these guys back up and put this back here. I'm using my fingers mm -hmm. to take this label. Yes, yes. Now see, once you get it started, you can do that. Yeah, once you get it started, it won't stop. Uh-huh. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> once you get now, started, it'll rip when it's under my well, thumb. You, you have to... Here's the thing. You take this blade, mm -hmm. and you do a little here, a little here, a little here, and you just keep doing that. And I find it's... I basically, I have to brace it against, against my chest. And then I, I start to make... A little bit of progress and when I come in and I've got about a quarter of an inch in what I can do you see I've got some tools laid out here and these are tools that help me 
with this process. Now I could, I could just take my, uh, my thumb and forefinger and I could just, just keep doing this, 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 this. That's one way to do it. Mm -hmm. And actually that works pretty well, especially now that I've got it started. Yeah. But it's they're, curling mm -hmm. back. It's mm -hmm. all curly cue. Now, I also have another option. I could take this, um, a putty knife, a yes, big can, spackle putty knife. Yes, I can take this big putty knife and I can attach it to the part of the label that's already up. And I can I can just rub it down a little and bit. Then can just and pull. then I can put my two forefingers under underneath. And oh thank you. And I can I can just work it like this. <clears throat> work it, girl, mm -hmm. work it. And the thing is, even when I do this, parts of it still want to stick, stick to the glass. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to work this for a little bit. You've got to work. Work it, work it, work it. And, oh, here we go. I'm making, making some progress. Yeah, I need to do this in a way that you can see it. Okay, so I'm making some progress. And if I just keep working at it, you know, it'll come off. And that's, that's the trick, is you, you have to be patient and just work at it. Because ah. it'll take forever ah. and ever and ever. And then when you start to see parts of it sticking to the glass, you have to stop and mm -hmm. take a blade and bring those pieces up. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes, it, it is. There's a lot of work involved in this. A lot of rigmarole. Well, you know, there's work involved in anything that's worth that's worth achieving. With if you, my if, luck, I'll just no the first pull. I'll just go. Tsk. Well, I tell you, I got one that did do that. But you know, you like I said, you just. Maintain your patience. Now that did happen with this. See, this oh. this corner here ripped off. So what I do is I just set it to the side and I worked on the rest of it and I put it back together. Mm -hmm. So that does happen, but like I said, you just you know you work. You know you you come up with uh, you come up with a way to make it happen. You work, and like I said, that's why I have these other tools here. Now, I've got enough of this off, I've, in fact, I've got most of it off, that I'm just going, I'm going to take, so I'm going to remove the label off of uh, the putty knife very carefully. Oh, see, see, i got a little rip there. I'm going to have to be careful around that rip. There. Okay. And now I've got it to where, where, you know, there, enough of it is off of the glass that I can work with this. Yep. There we go, but see, that guy just wants to, there we go. You know, and I start with the, I start with the back label because it's always the, <laughs> the reason the back label on these is always the most difficult is because it's the largest. Mm-hmm. And I've got a little piece on the glass. I should, I should always put this pad on the back, otherwise that'll, the back of that will dig into my fingers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now see, the top part of it is cooperating, and that's coming off, you know, it's like, like peeling away something, but then, then you yeah, know, there's always Always a little piece. It gives you some trouble. Okay. And, and, uh, where I... Oh, it's a little piece. There we go. Now I'm making some progress. Yeah, you know, right about this time. Mm hmm. You know, right when it's almost done, I can show it. Itty bitty Kate will come right up and block the view. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know where she is. She's off doing something now. 
Okay, I'll, I'll remove that in a minute. But see, here we are. Okay. So I've got I've got this. I got a stack of paper here, and I'm going to take this and line it up. I'm going to center it or some near the bottom of the page. Okay. And and the the other two pieces will be easier. Uh, okay. But it's the same process. Okay. Can I cut it now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. What's going on? What's oh. going on? Okay, well, when you, when you left me last time, I was putting this, uh, the back label of this bottle on the bottom of the page, and I took uh, my razor and I loosened, on, I went to the front label and loosened both sides, and because this is a smaller label, this is a little easier to work, so now I'm taking the putty knife, I've got it behind the label, and and I'm just working this and more pulling yeah but this one's coming off easier I'm still getting these little bits still getting these little bits that stick I'm sorry like see that yeah tiny little bit I have to I have to keep that from sticking on the bottom and I'm just gonna work this Oh boy, that just doesn't want to... This guy just really wants to stay. I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and see if I can work this. There we go. So I'm, ta I'm taking the X-Acto knife and I'm pushing that, that part that wants, still wants to stick to the glass and I'm pushing it off the glass. And I'm going to see if that helps. And that, that seems to help. <laughs> Not always so. Take this. Okay. And I'm going to work from the. I guess you have to go backwards. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to work it from the other side. Well, of course, because they want to rip. But it's like we don't want to. We don't want to. But you know, it's cut loose. We want to hold it tight till we rip. Yeah, and also, it's, I'm I'm doing this a little too fast. That's the the thing is the secret to to doing this well is to slow down. And mm -hmm. I know that that doesn't make for compelling video. I apologize for that. <laughs> but yeah. But I I'm almost. But I, you know, I asked you to come back because I'm almost at the point where this one's going to come off. Uh -huh. And then I can take, I, when I remove this, this one's much easier, and it, it actually does go faster because it's long and narrow. Uh, okay, but I'm going to, I'm going to use the blade, and we're just about at that point where this is going to come off. Uh-huh. Okay, I think, I think we're very close. Yep, yep. Okay. It's off. So this guy came off. I'm going to stretch. He's got a few a few wrinkles in on himself. And what I'm going to do is well, I'm going to... Well, won't that give a caricature? Yes, it will. And so I'm going to, I'm going to center him above the rear label. And I'm going to smooth this out from the center out to the edges. And I'm going to take a piece, this piece of blank paper with my thumbnail. I'm going to burnish it into the paper so that that'll flatten it out, flatten it out nicely, and then what we do with this, now you'll see, this is a different story, because the blade is bigger than this label, especially the narrow part of this label, uh, you can just work it in, and you can see the blade slips underneath pretty easily, you do have to wiggle back and forth get it up and then it helps to to bend it back and once you have it bent back basically you can just work this underneath and keep pulling it back and work and as you see this part goes this part goes a lot faster than the other than removing the other two parts of the label And we just keep working on it. Label says, I don't want to come off. Not well. <laughs> yeah, that's 
because it's, uh, well, the bottom. I'll tell you, the wine company invested <laughs> in, in wine in a good, labels. Well, they invested in a good adhesive. <laughs> They're making me work. Okay. I don't want to come off. That's okay. Stop making me come off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to edit out that silliness. Okay, so you can see you can see I'm a, I'm about two thirds the way off, and th this is the process that that uh, the label itself when it's perfectly smooth it mm -hmm. has a little bit of of sparkle in it you can kind of see it but when when it crinkles up that kind of highlights that, that, that little bit of iridescent sparkle a, a little more, at least I think so. And so. So I'm going to keep working this, because we're almost there. Push from behind, and, oops, excuse me. Okay, got about one quarter of an inch to go. Up oh, here we go. And there we are. Okay, and so so this bottle's done. Very nice. It's devoid of labels. <laughs> and that's because I have the labels in my hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and so what I do is I stretch it out a little bit and I take the word that's in the middle, I center that about a quarter of an inch above the other part of the label. And from the center, I just, I just gently push it out. And again... Now you have three Merlots. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I burnish it with the back of my fingernail. Okay. And for now... And so that's one more that's finished. And so that goes over here. And when, when I c complete a few, however many I'm going to work on tonight, um, I'll put them in these, in these uh, plastic sleeves here in this three-ring binder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so that, that's the process. Okay, dokie, dokie. Thank you. Okay.